You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know. What what do you think? What do you think would be would be good? I mean, I, that's what I'm really need. Now, for those for those that's watching and cause this is a tutorial as well as a talk, because I could teach y'all how to do things while I'm while I'm doing this, but um for those that's watching and like, well, brother Hatton, what you gonna do with that? All right, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do with it. Hold on. But I wanna move it a little bit. Let's move it right here. Now you see that that's hard to see. So how can we fix that? I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to, I can lift it up. That ain't going to really work that, you know, so I'm going to take that off. I don't like what it did. You see what it, it, it you know, I, I, I didn't ask you to do that. I didn't ask that thing to do that lift. No. Is this the, how many people on the call now? Just me and you. You can't see. I thought it was your I mean, ass, but I, I, my, my apologies. There was somebody else on, but they was at work. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I said, I ain't the most popular dude in the world. Not yet. I guess I'm about to die first. But however it go, it's cool. Um, and don't say a word, Miss Tracy. I already know what you're going to say. <laughs> I, I already know what you're going to say. It's cool. But like that, you could, you could, um, I'm going to throw the background. It's called background function. You go to effects and you can make it stand out a little bit. I got to stop peeking in and join the tribe, right? There you go. We got the live stream popping off. So now what you're going to do with that, brother? I'm going to show you. But before I show you what I'm going to do with this, I am going to save it to my database, to my mini, to my mini pieces that I got working. And I'm going to show y'all something, right? Now, stories really, really pop off, right? So um, because... What I'm noticing is with the attention span of the people, you have to get something real quick, right? You got to, you know, you got to do it. You got to do it quick. I'm one of them people. So here we go. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my home screen. And you know what? I actually, this actually could, I mean, I could do my show like this and I could just walk people through how I do what I do. God yeah. damn. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but, you know, but then, you know, take it off of here because if I see, cause this is what's dope. Once I'm able to plug in my, um, plug in my, my OBS, I will be able to stream live. Record on my end through my OBS. Record on my end through my OBS, right? Mm -hmm. And then once it's done on uh, Telegram, it's done. Then we have it. And, you know, we could, because uh, like right now, what I'm doing right now, I could take this down after we get done. I could take this down and just use the tutorial that I give to people in GIMA. Um, so now, yeah, but you said you didn't record it, so I'm recording now. It's recording okay. now. It's recording now because I'm about to do another. I'm about to do another because I, I did the first one. So we got tribe talk right here. Boom. Oh, wow. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> did you see? Did you did you see the screen half uh, halfway? No. Oh, OK. My fault. All right. So um, so now. As y'all can see, if you can see my little hand flowing in there, I'm going back to my original Instagram post. I'm going to open my Instagram. Now, once again, the reason I like work, work with Instagram because it's a perfect square. And this makes it easier for me to make adjustments to send it out to the fam, right? So here we go. So now my original one is popping up. My fault. I shouldn't even did that. I don't know why my computer moving this slow. I really don't. It's really bothering me right now that my computer's moving that slow. Because I, I got two screens open. I don't know why. All right. So let me start over. Here we go. I got my Instagram piece, right? This is my Instagram post if I wanted to post to Instagram. But what I'm going to do is I am going to copy that. So y'all see that. Now, let me show you what I did. Once again, once I get on this, three dots pop up. I'm going to click on the three dots. And it says make a copy. Why are you making a copy, hot huh, Tim? I'm going to show you why I'm making a copy. So now, this is for me. Some of y'all might be more organized than me, but I like to, when I make a copy of something, like I just did, I want to label it right away 
so that I know I'm doing it. I'm going to animate this. Animated tribe talk. Boom. And then I click it. And it's going to take a couple of seconds for it to come up. There we go. There we go. All right. So it pops. Huh? Are you on your computer for Telegram? Yes. I'm on my I'm on my computer. And it's moving very, very slow. But I, I got a good idea. I have to go in, I have to clear some stuff up because I got a whole bunch of storage. And this is my main streaming computer. Actually, what I need to do is get me a uh if you look behind me, you uh, uh, let me let me do this. Uh If you if you look at the picture behind me, behind me I have my supercomputer. This is my regular, this is one of my laptops that I'm streaming through, that I do my major streaming on. When I originally got the supercomputer, I was supposed to start streaming through that and doing all my stuff through that, but I use that for other stuff now. Um, and my daughter's use it for gaming and sometimes Cleve or Cleve, but you know, but anyway. So now, y'all see I made that copy. So I said I'm going to animate. So what I want to do is I want to animate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to click that picture, boom. I erase that picture, but it's still there because I this is a copy. Remember, I made a copy. So I'm going to go to video. Now, the beautiful thing about this Canva piece is that Canva provides you with thousands and tens of thousands of pictures and thousands and tens of thousands of, of videos and thousands and tens of thousands of music that you could pull from that you don't have to worry about licensing because your license is covered through your professional piece uh, or your professional membership with them, right? So you just have to register. Um, and you register like I registered my YouTube, but I, you, I rarely do anything on YouTube, um, which I, I am. I do have a show popping off at 12 today for Imani um, that I did on YouTube. So I'm going to my videos. And I am going to type in tribe. Let's uh, let's try tribal. See what happens. Tribal. Okay. Okay, we got that drum playing there. Uh-huh. Tribalism. All right, let's see. What's this? So I have to go through a lot. And because the screen is so small, I'm a, I need to get my glasses. Look at that beautiful black woman. I used her already, so I can't use that all right now. I used that already. But I need something with a group. So I put tribal so I ain't going to have a group. Oh, look at her. Oh, my God. That's a nice-looking black woman, man. Excuse me. I, you know, I... Y'all yeah, know how I am about black women. Good God Almighty. Lord have mercy. Jesus, what? All right, um, let's see. Uh, oh, I like that, but that ain't you know that's 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 fractal. That's you know, I'm looking for something. All right, let's see. I had a lion. Let's let's do lion. See what? Because I had a lion before. Uh oh, there we go. There we go. We got a pride of lions. Let me put pride of lions. Cause you know that's what a group of lions is called, a pride. Boom. Oh, there they go chilling right there. Uh-huh. Boom. Got that nice little prize in right there. I'm thinking about doing, uh, uh, because, you know, a lot of motivational speakers use lions and I want to do a motivational talk. Well, not a talk, but I, I, I th I'm going to put together a, a, a course where I'm talking about <laughs> when lions fail, because, you know, a lot of times people be like, lions are unstoppable. Lions be out there getting fucked up. I'm, I don't think a lot of people realize that these, that lions be taking losses. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, because some animals, they be fighting just as hard as lions be talking. Lions be out there trying to, to get it. Other animals out there trying to survive, 
right? But anyway, so I'm going to use that. You know, tribe talk. We got that tribe. We got that pride of lions there. You know what I'm saying? I could put something else, but I'm going to use that right there. Uh, <clears throat> now, also, what I am going to do, I am going to go to music now because it don't make no sense to have something looking that nice without the proper music. Let's say uh, lion music. Use that as a thing. Let's see. Lion growl. Let's see what that sound like. Could you hear that, Miss Tracy? Very, very little. And it's a roar, not a growl. Uh. I need music though. I I I don't like that raising shadows though. All right, let's lion roar. Hmm. Let's say try music. Divide and conquer. I used that before. Honey for food. Mm, okay, hold on. I like electronica. I can work with that. I work with that. All right, now watch. All right. All right. All right, cool. I'm going to cut it. It don't need to be that long. We're going to shave you down here, and we're going to shave you down here. Because we don't want nothing over nine seconds. Oh, there we go. All right, let's try it now. All right, cool. Make it a little bit longer. Boom. There we go. All right there. Try it now. All right. We got that. I can work with that. What you think, Miss Tracy? You can work with yeah, that? I didn't hear nothing, though. Oh, you couldn't hear nothing? Okay, cool. All right. Oh! Maybe there's a sheer sound on here. Hold on, let me see. Is there huh. settings? Uh no. Hold on, speakers, headphones. Okay, no. All right. Don't want to mess up nothing. Um there I guess there there wasn't a function. When I started, wait, hold on. I'm going to stop sharing screen. Let me get off of here. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Done. Then Let's see. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. There we go. Share audio. Try it now. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my fault. Can you hear now? All right, cool. Got it. Now, what I'm going to do, I got that. So now, remember, what is hitting? So right now, what's hitting is people want a quick taste. They don't want the long thing, right? So what you need to do, hold on. And let me put one more thing in here. Hold on. Uh, Where we at? Mm -hmm. I need text. Boom. I want to put... Uh huh. 
paste. Boom. How you, I'm going to make that smaller. I need to make that. Well, I keep that black. Make it smaller. Move it. Put it over here so it don't cover their face. Right about there. Make it a little bit smaller. I know it's going to be hard to see. All right. But then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to resize to my story. Copy and resize. Boom. There we go. It's moving slow, but it is what it is. It is what it is, Miss Tracy. I can't be mad at it. Y'all see, Miss Tracy is trying to entice me to start my show back. I don't like that, man. Feel used. I want to do the show. I ain't going to say that. I do. I, I love my show. Ah, it feel good not to have to, you know, I get I up and I can do it. why you're out of uniform. Why you on Nia? Um, well, my Nia clothes is over there. I just woke up. Uh, my Nia clothes. My Nia clothes is, is um, I'm about to get ironed. But I'm about to do my show. And with the Daily Toast show, I don't like to represent uh, the day that I'm doing it on because the fact of the matter is, because think about it. it well, because every every time I do the show, I will be in the money. I don't want to yeah. do that. Okay. Um, so I have something else that I'm going to put on for the show. And then I will change into, she said, out of uniform. I, I'm loving that. <laughs> out of uniform. All right, cool. So now there you go. Let's play it. All right. Cool. There we go. All right. What you going to do with that, brother? I tell you. First things first. Um, I am going to, I need to go back to, because I should have downloaded that first. Let me rewind it. Refresh. <laughs> How you liking um uh Telegram? It's all right. Um I have to put it on my computer though because this this phone is too small to try to see all you doing. Oh girl, I thought you was on a guy. Right, so you ain't you ain't even catching none of the tutorial. You I can missing see the, all tutorial. the tutorial. I can see it all. I got my glasses on. Oh. Yeah, I need I I got I'm living that glasses life too. So um so my story right here, I need to download this real quick. Download. All right, I'm going to download that. I'm going to show you all real quick what I'm about to do. And at the same time, I'm picking up my phone and I'm going to my camera because for some reason, I cannot. So I already downloaded that, so I don't need to. All right, cool. All right, I'm going to go to my Facebook. I'm going to go to my face. Why is everything moving so slow? All right. So now, while we're waiting for Facebook to come up, I'm on my phone, and I am downloading. Oh, no, I'm just going to put it up on my Instagram story. Try to talk. Through Canva. Now, it won't allow me to do it on my computer, but on my here, I'm able to just upload it to my Instagram story. And for some reason, come on here. Stop. There we go. There we go. All right. I don't know what's going on with my Facebook fam. I might not be able to upload it right now. There we go. All right, cool. So this is, uh, so, oh, Kwame uploaded the show. So I need to go and set him up and share his stuff 
on my show. All right, here we go. Um, Miss Tracy, just you just sent me some something. All right, I'm gonna oh, go to my personal. Oh, what? It's, it's, yeah, I didn't know. I thought you. I didn't know you was gonna get it immediately. Yeah, we living in immediate times. People's attention span ain't that long. All right, so I'm on my thing, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add to my personal story. I'm gonna throw. Uh, it won't let me animate, so I'm gonna throw up. Uh, what's the day? Oh, tribe talk. Tribe talk. Three twenty story. There we go. Open. Wow. There it go. Right there. I'm gonna share that to my story. And also. On my phone because they won't allow me to upload the, the 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 video. I will. I'm going to download the Canva piece. Continue editing. So um, you used to do a show that was like it was like it reminds me of Tribe Talk in my version of Tribe Talk. And I'm trying to figure out what show that was. So used to used to have it on after all the mornings. And cool like, mornings. I ain't yeah, never had no, no, no. I never had no show on no Kaula Morning, baby. So Not when, Brother um, Tim. When, um, I used to kick it hard. I would, I would get on there. Um, Janelle would get on there. All kinds of other people. That was, that was, that was either, uh, tribal, uh, tribal quotes or, um, tribal quotes or, uh, tribal quotes or folk tales for grown folks, or at that time before we had the days, I had in the evenings on uh, on near evenings, I had uh, uh, freestyle Fridays. Maybe that's what it was because we would talk about everything. Right, and that's but basically that, that was the show. But the show was around the, the the proverbs and or the folk tale, and that would generate the conversation. Those are shows that I would like to get going again, but I don't not necessarily that I that I want to do. You understand what I'm saying? Because the technique is there. You know what I'm saying? The uh that's crystallized what, that's, what, that's what sounds like for um tribal uh, excuse me, uh, tribal tribal talk, tribe talk. Right. Uh and, so, and you know right. right. So taking out that stuff, I'm gonna throw in something where we could talk about the principles through the principles. But then also be able to bring in up to date stuff, and I don't, you know, what I'm saying, and I could do it periodically. And I do it all the time, and 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 this is tribe talk with brother Hot Tim, but it also could be tribe talk with uh, uh sister Tracy. You could do it, or somebody else could do it, Miss Tracy or whoever. You know what I'm saying? Um, just another another idea. Now, what I'm doing right now, for those that don't know, right now I'm going up to my Facebook, my private Facebook page, and I am uploading a um, I'm uploading, because for some reason they will not allow you to do a live story, uh, uh, animated story on your <coughs> um, from my computer, which is cool. Alright, so I'm going to share that. So now, you got anything you want to discuss in particular, Miss Tracy, or, you know, because, you know, because what I could do is I could run down my, 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 uh, run down the, the, the shows for this week. Uh, hold on. Where is it at? Well, not the shows, but the, you know, I could have had shows on because this is what I used to do. But all the titles that I ran through this week. I don't know. I probably need to get with Sister Navita because I need to understand why when a man asks for to be forgiven for everything, they think they slick. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. I missed something. Hold on. What? <laughs> why we got to think we slick because we ask to be, be, be forgiven for everything? Because it's 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 it, to be to actually forgive for you know I, I apologize for everything for you know could you could forget could you forgive me for everything 
It's just it's bypassing just specifics. specifics. Hold on. I'm gonna get. I, let me give me. Give me. Let me. Let me. Let me get something to drink real quick. I need a coffee because this. Hold on. I'll, I'll be right back. I like black women too. All right, now I'm back. What is this? What is this I'm hearing? What's going on here? What What is this? <laughs> it's just a. It's a thought. It's kind of like flash me back because she said, "Flash me back." It is. It's flashing me back because it's happened on more than one occasion where someone, you know. I'm in a relationship with someone. They make some mistakes. I don't know their every mistake that they make specifically, but it's eating them up. The guilt is eating them up. So they ask for forgiveness. You know, I'm sorry for everything. You know, could you forgive me? But then as, you know, as I get to thinking about things, it's some things that probably ain't forgivable. All right, damn. Um, uh... Yeah, probably. I mean, I mean, so I mean, I think it's kind of foolish to, to blindly forgive everything. Anyway, you can't do that. That's right. Okay. I mean, so I mean, is 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 it him being slick or you not being smart? Well, that's the problem. Is I'm I'm smart. Okay. So what's the issue? Do you the so issue. all you got to say? All you got to say is. It is not being slick. It's because, see, now, in, in a lot of cases, men's minds and women's minds work differently, right? Y'all remember all. Y'all remember everything. I, it, it's it's just ridiculous. I leave my drawers laying somewhere. You, you remember. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't watch the tell. You remember. I don't remember that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I could have did a lot of foul shit in the last seven days and forgot all about that shit. I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to remember. Right? So it, the minds work differently. I'm not holding on to a lot of that shit. You holding on to a lot of that shit. Okay, you understand? I appreciate that. Because I remember, I just remember, I remember my husband. He, he, We were in a situation similar. And, and so, you know, the whole, you know, I asked for forgiveness. And then I would bring something up later, like, hold up, wait a minute. This happened, and then he'll say, "Yeah, I asked you for to get to forgive me for everything." You know what I'm saying? Like, slick. You think you slick? No, that no, was understand. No, right. I, I understand. Right. He could right. have forgotten about that, or right. It was it to the to the to the to, the, to those legal papers that I forgave for everything. <laughs> oh, y'all signed papers? See, y'all no, advanced. Yeah, y'all signed. Oh, okay. I'm about to yeah. say y'all got that's advanced. You know, you oh, signed no. papers. You know, he, he wouldn't. Have, he wouldn't have ever agree to that like that. So no, I'm just, I'm just kidding about that part. I'm just saying, like, what is everything? Everything is not specific. And like you're saying, is I am going to remember some stuff. I'm, even if I don't remember it right in the moment, it will definitely come to me later. Yes, it will. And yeah. so I worked in the office with your ass. Yes, it will. You don't forget <laughs> shit. I'll be like, uh, okay. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, I did say that, didn't I? But when you, I mean, it's like, oh, shit, okay. No. See, and that's, that. you know, because it's like, uh, you know, I mean, you know, they say the devil is in the details. And, you know, a lot of times I'm not living a detailed life. <laughs> Men are not living detailed lives. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, you know, so, but, you know, I hope I, I hope I dealt with that as best as I could. If there's any men out there with any any other answers, please at Miss Tracy on on Telegram to let her know how you feel. 
You know what I'm saying? And any sisters that, you know, if you have any comments, you can hit up either one of us, even though you can't find me on here. Because when you hit up gnj.media, you hit up everybody. See? I'm you see how really, I mean, because it's like, you know, I mean, you don't want to hold grudges. I learned life is too short. You know what I'm saying? Time yes, it is. On, all those things where you don't want to hold grudges. I don't want to be in a space where I'm mad in this moment and then something happens where I don't have to get to forgive or, you know, those things. So I don't want, I'm, I live my life where I intentionally reject regret. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to do anything that I, that I will regret. Like, well, I meant to say this to this person and now they're not here. So I've right. been blessed to have, I, I told my late husband that I loved him, you know what I'm saying, before, he, while he was here, you know, so it wasn't no bad vibes or anything for, for between us before he, you know, transitioned as well as my mom, you know. So that is like, like from those two experiences, it's very important for me to say the things that I want to say while you're here. Mm. So... Mm. So the, the act of forgiveness is very, um, I mean, I can forgive just about anything. My problem is what is the, what is the, the reaction to that? Like, you know, because you know, I can and will forgive. Does that allow you to keep doing stupid stuff? Now, I, I, I don't know who I was talking to yesterday. <laughs> But one of my favorite pastors when I was young was we called him we called him um uh, uh brother Howard. Uh his name was Howard. I can't remember his last name, but he was one of my favorite. But he got up, well, in our Sunday school class, he said, Man, um, y'all should always forget, but never forget. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know, was that you I was talking to? Always forget, but never forget. You know what I'm saying? Because the because it get it leaves room for people to do stuff to you again, and you shouldn't leave that open so that it can happen to you like that, right? <clears throat> right, right. You know, so yeah, it's it's cool to forgive, but you should always remember so that you can help, like like your piece, the piece that that you have that you are coming into mastering at this point in time, being able to hold people accountable. You know what I'm saying? It's not that if people don't do what they say they're going to do, you're hating them. You're just reminding them. Right? Because part of part of self-development, part of self-mastery, the reason you need to form a tribe around you is so that people can remind you about the things that you don't need to be doing. They can hold you accountable for getting you to where you say you want to be. If your tribe is not doing that, you don't have a tribe. You just have a group of people. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You you have a, you 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 have a group of people that drink and smoke weed together. You know what I'm saying? You have a you have a a a, a, a sports fan club. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a tribe. You you know what I'm saying? Because we got to hold each other responsible. Because the better you become at what you do, the better I become. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we have to we have to help people remember. You know what I'm saying? So so that they don't do the same shit. I have to remember what you did so that, you know what I'm saying, so that I can, when I see you moving down that path again, I'll be like, yo, you ain't supposed to be doing that. We already went through that. Because okay, once I, because okay. think about this, because once I forget you from some shit, you do that shit again. That's a super violation. Yeah, right? it's, it's a, a major blatant disrespect. And I there you go. I think that's where I am. I was just about to say that. I think that's where I am. It's so much as, you know, like, you know, it's almost like, um, could you forgive me? And going forward, you can expect this, you know, you know, me, me to be more aware of the decisions that I'm making. Something to hold that says that you can be held accountable instead of, instead of thinking like, okay, she forgave me. All right. All right on to what's next. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that it's, you know, some more foolishness coming next or nothing like that. I'm not um, insinuating that. I'm just saying what, I mean, what are you, what are you 
being responsible for. Yes, I can forgive you. Forgiving is easy, like you said. You know, I can forgive, and I mostly, for, I, I mostly am in the mindset of forgiving because I'm imperfect as well. I would like to be forgiven as well. So, so you know, if I want someone to forgive me for something, if I want God to forgive me for something, something I can't hold grudges against people and not forgive them. So, forgiving. I'm gonna ask. I I'm gonna ask a question on that one. I'm gonna challenge that one. Why? Can't you hold a grudge and expect God to forgive you? I, I didn't say I. I still expect God for, to forgive me. Um, okay, cool. All right, cool. So, I want to be clear because you know that. I mean, because sometimes, in order to keep yourself safe, you do have to hold a grudge. Because we do know there's people out there that will take advantage of anything that they perceive as a weakness, and you know what I'm saying. Holding a grudge is. Like holding, one of the things we talk about in GIMA or that I have been talking about over the last few years in GIMA is establishing borders. A grudge is a border. Mm -hmm. Nigga, don't cross this. Don't you, you don't cross this. You don't have permission to cross this line. You don't have a passport. You know what I'm saying? You can't cross this line. And if you don't establish that, you expose yourself to danger. Right? You know what I'm saying? It, this exact, that's exactly what Ukraine is dealing with. They had a border with Russia. Russia violated that shit. I'm going I'm, I'm to force y'all to be with us. I want to be with you. I don't care. I'm violating their border. And we got people around us that, that, that try to do the same thing with us all the time. Except it just don't make the news. Like the, the, the conflict, the tribal conflict between Russia and uh Ukraine, because I want, because I need, I need it to be clear. Those of us that are Giami, those of us that's in this tribe, those of us are conscious. We cannot allow these motherfuckers to elevate this, this tribal, this tribal war that's going on in Europe to the point that they're trying to elevate it. Because this, the same conflict that was happening in Africa, in Asia, this the same type of conflict. And we got to be clear about that. I do a little politics in there too but i'm sorry <laughs> but it is but it, it's a boundary it's to protect yourself like they're saying right it's right. a boundary to, to protect yourself and it's really and it's like, like you know and then it makes me it, self evaluate what is my weakness my weakness is that i love hard my weakness is that i actually think outside think or look outside the box instead of what is i'm not petty you know what i'm saying it's like it's so many options that I consider that I feel like someone would easily walk over. Oh, yeah. Ain't that something? That's incredible, right? Yeah. So many people, they would, and they will walk over that shit like it ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, you got to be you got to be brave enough and you have to be bold enough to stand up for yourself. And then also, this is another reason why tribe is important. Because sometimes and I know you felt like this too. Sometimes it's so wonderful when other people understand your borders and be like, yo, that's my ally. Yeah. You ain't gonna cross that shit. Or better yet, remove you from the situation. Oh no, that's about to get bad. You know what I'm saying? I have had I have been blessed to have had individuals involved in my life who took who took little slights more serious than I did. Right. Mm -hmm. And basically made me have to distance myself from situations because of how they would react. They're like, nigga, you don't see that as a violation. Nigga, that's a violation. I don't give a fuck what you say, hot Tim. I see that motherfucker. I'm put you in. Oh, OK, hold on. So we don't have to see him. All right. I appreciate your love and all that. But that's cool. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, yeah. Because we need those type. We need those type of relationships. Because they help keep us sane and they help remind us of where we're trying to go. You yeah. told me, hi, Tim, that you this. You told me, Tracy, that you that. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what that's what you start building up in your tribe so that we can start holding each other accountable as well as helping each other in the accountability. You know what I'm saying? Helping the reminding and then also noticing when somebody might need you to step up for them. You know, but that's, you know, that's neither here or there, I guess. 
Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, I appreciate the conversation. I think I needed to really understand the minds of men and women are are different, especially when it comes to <laughs> remembering things. Because y'all right. y'all get somebody's Somebody birthday, birthday in a heart. Right. And it's not personal. It's yeah. just you know what I'm saying? Is it it is it's it's not and I don't want to say not important, but in the grander scheme of things, it's not important. You understand? It, on on a smaller scale, in, in the in the microverse, it's very important. But on the, in the macro universe, is it really? Is these holidays we set up really super important? Especially if they are extracting time and space from the things that deal with survival because I'm, people do need to understand that a lot of these holidays that are set up are designed to extract space and t- time from us and as a man I'm supposed to be protecting that shit but yet I have to go on and play I have to play I have to play revolutionary and loving um, and, and if I'm not doing that I'm not loving and shit you know what I'm saying if I if it, it, it if I hold to the line, I don't love my family, friends. That's kind of a fucked up situation to be in, especially you know what I'm saying. It's like you understand what I'm saying because it's like I understand. I understand. I understand the scheme behind Valentine's Day. I understand the the the, the ultimate thing behind the way we celebrate Christmas. I understand the bottom line thing because I want you to understand that if you celebrate all these holidays or so called these days that take your space and time. I want you to, I want you to just, just, if you could tally up the amount of resources as a, as an individual, whether male or female, that you invest in that. And what would happen if you took that same time and resource and invested it in days that we declare as our own, like Juneteenth, like Malcolm X, uh, birthday like uh, a Kwanzaa. What would happen if we took all these days that these that that others have told us are sacred? I had a funny story told to me by one of my um by by one of my sisters, um, um sister Madonna. She's a nurse, so she was talking about a test that they give to see if people like if they fail if they are suffering from some type of internal damage in their brain so uh a nurse that's outside of black you know because in 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 this situation you have a lot of black people coming in Uh, a white nurse is given a test so one of the questions she asked and this is recently one of the questions that was asked was um what's the next holiday that's coming up so you know you asking like what's your birthday Who's the president? Do you know your own phone number? And what's the next holiday that's coming up? So a black person like, well, the next holiday that's coming up in during this time is Easter. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. You see that. But the nurse ain't wrong. Uh-oh, we got to check her. Something's wrong. But as a black person, for you, the next upcoming holiday would be Easter. But if I am following the calendar that was given to me, that I supposed to follow, according to a lot of people, the next holiday was St. Patrick's Day. So somebody looking outside my culture would look at me and be like, something wrong with you. Right, yeah. that don't apply to you. <laughs> that don't apply to us. But to other people, it applies, and they take it very seriously, and that's their culture, and they had that right. But what happens is that's being forced upon us, right? So just like Valentine's Day, that ain't something that we, you know what I'm saying? Just like the term romantic. I, I don't even know if people understand what it means when you say, when you tell somebody you're not being romantic. Hold on, what the fuck do you mean? Do you know Romans were the most aggressive? You won't, do you really? <laughs> the most aggressive and violent group of motherfuckers on this planet? Do you really want me to be romantic? You know what I'm saying? Romantic requires me to take the shit from you. You know what I'm saying? But you don't really understand that. Right? 
But we we throw these terms out and and and, and we celebrate these days. And and then it's kind of hard for an individual that's trying to find their way and trying to plug into their culture that has been stripped from them, you know, to try to fit into that and to operate in the way that um, is demanded of you in this world and even save any money to really be able to do anything. It's you hard. Know, my, my, um, and I, I, and it's a, I think it's a problem too, because now I, I have a, I, I, when it comes to remembering songs, I can, I can sing, I can, sing, I can remember some words and songs, but it's like not all the way. So when I was younger, my mom wouldn't allow me to sing songs that would come on the radio or not, unless I knew what, what the meaning of the words meant. That was good. Yeah, but that was also too, it's just singing songs, you would think, right? But you don't know what you're saying. And I think about that, about um, even just with kids, like, you know, seeing these words to these songs, not so knowing what they're saying, not, and not understanding what they're inviting into their lives. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a whole nother conversation, Miss Tracy. See, but that is that is why we try to um because that is a that that's a question of upbringing and being able to plug into a culture that is you know what I'm saying that's yours because right now what we're celebrating is not a culture that's ours. So the songs that we are singing is are celebrating things that are not culturally stabilizing, that are not culturally healthy for us, right? So if you was involved in a culture, I wouldn't even have to say, if you was really involved, you would listen to something and be like, oh, the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That's a nice beat, but what is, what spell is this motherfucker weaving? Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, because I, I see with my children, like, um, I just had to, Sasha, Sasha is in love with TikTok, right? So mm. she'll take somebody's phone and she will do a TikTok dance and not even listen to the, I'm like, do you not hear what they saying? So now I have to be very specific with it. I say, listen, they are saying, if you hear them using any cuss words that your dad used, you know what cuss words are, because I know you do. As a matter of fact, I heard her talking in her sleep last night. She told somebody <laughs> kiss kiss her ass oh. in her sleep. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we know we, I got a house full of cusses around here. Mm -hmm. But the, the point, the point that, <laughs> the point that I'm, that I'm making is if you hear in these cuss words, you don't do no, you don't do no video to these. Yeah. You're not allowed. Now, if your mama want to do a video or one of your old, grown older sisters want to do a video to that, that's their business. But you my business right now. You don't do nothing to that. Right. So, but you know, but that's a, that's, that's a matter of culture and that's a matter of us monitoring and your mom did the right thing. You can't sing anymore. Why are you going, why are you singing that song? And you don't know what the fuck they saying. That's stupid. Well, what's funny is going to the new edition concert. The new edition was out. I was a kid. Right. So we singing these songs, everything is all well and good. Now I'm older going to their concert and that live, live the words to these songs. <laughs> In my mm. life, mm. Uh, you know, live the word, you, you sinner, you sinner. Shame <laughs> on you. Shame on you. New edition has some has some nice songs. They have some some love songs. They have some heartbreak songs. They have some yeah. um, weathering storm songs. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Can you stand yeah. right? the biggest one? Can you stand? Wait, was Johnny Gill on that song? Johnny yeah. Gill wasn't on the song. Oh, that so that was that's when they kicked Bobby out for a while, right? Oh man, they had. Um, but Bobby was there, wasn't he? He was there, but uh, they had a nice little uh, moment where they went. They went to uh, play "Count Me Out," the song "Count Me Out." So Bobby uh -huh. was on the stage with, with, the, with the previous song. Then they started counting me out. And so he looking around and he just left because that was when he left. <laughs> so he left on count me out. What was nice about that? That was the history, the history behind it. 
All right. Oh, oh, the song was about him. Yeah, like you know, it's not really so much about him, but Count Me Out is um, it didn't include him. The song Man, didn't include him. Remember, he went. Y'all better stop fucking with my my cousin. I don't like nobody messing with my family, man. It was, Why? It was wow. nice, and then he was like, he just, he just looked at him and he just walked off the stage. And then it was like, um, they went and explained it at the end, like you know, that's when. Then it was a song that he, uh, they was like, uh, yeah, well, this song right here was supposed to be a new edition song, and it ended up on Bobby Brown's album. And so Bobby was like, so you saying I stole it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice show. So. It was a night. Nice, what? Well, so I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. So um, now, can you? While we're here, can you explain to people in here what is? Um, because we do a thing called a mindset. Can you kind of break down the mindset for people? Okay. Okay. So, what is a mindset? So mindset is is gathering as a group, and the the sole purpose of mindset is to work on reinventing yourself, self mastery, um, moving into moving into your better self or your improved self, or you know just, just your biggest competition is yourself, being better than you were yesterday, being better than you were last week, last month, five years ago. So, mm. Mindset mastery is about mastering, mastering yourself, self mastery, and it starts with your mind. The way you think is what, what you think is going to create you to go to the next phase in your life. So mm. you're around a group of people who are on that same frequency, then y'all build each other up to move forward in, within yourself. Mm, you build. Say that again. You build each other up to move forward. You know, like like. In yourself, like so. As I'm building the other person up, we are building each other up, and we're we're holding each other accountable to continue growing ourselves. So, what's the what's the importance of holding? Uh, the the because you you because because this this is a key piece that um um because we was kind of talking about it. But what's this whole accountability piece? What what's important about the accountability, especially with a mindset? Because now, because because I just want to be clear with the family out there, the mindset aspect. Um, in other circles, they would call it a uh, what's the what's the term they use? Um, come on, help me out, Miss Tracy. Being they call it. I don't know. No, no, no. They because they charge big money for these. They call them. Um, oh, we wow. call it mindset. They call it uh, uh, masterminds. Yeah, masterminds. Mastermind groups, right? We call them mindsets, right? Yes. And you know, we um, and, and we just want, you know, like I said, we we're just trying to help. So. Is there a difference between a mastermind and a mindset? And if so, what is the difference in your opinion? Oh, um, that's definitely a question for you. Oh, Me. there you go throwing that shit. You good, girl. You you getting too good. You just threw that shit right back on me. I don't, I don't even know how to answer that. How am I supposed to answer that? But anyway, yeah, so go ahead. That's definitely, that's definitely a question for you. But the mindset is is literally where everything starts to move forward. Right, so it's the it's, it starts in the mind. Taking the action creates the results. So to be held accountable is is not letting yourself off the hook, not letting the person beside you off the hook, not letting not not ripping yourself off and not rip, ripping off the person. Especially if you're in a mindset with somebody, you know you want them to succeed too. Mm. So mediocrity is is going to keep you not only at the level you're at, but it can also bring you down. However, holding hold each other in higher. What was up? I'm going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Trace. Go ahead. Holding holding yourself and others at the higher possibilities or higher frequencies move the tribe forward. Mm. 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 Because now, now, what are some of the challenges that you have run into? And because, like you, you, you basically an accountability person with Giammi. What's some of the issues 
that you run into because because one of the things the reason I'm bringing this up is because soon we will be opening up and creating another mat not uh, another mindset group because right now we got a mindset group we started with a mindset group but we are going to open up the concept and we're going to train people on how to set up the mindset groups and guess who and guess who's going to be the lead trainer on that that sounds, that like, sounds Ms. like Tracy hmm. Right, because in every mindset group, you have to have not not just everybody holding. Because of course, you got accountability partners, but you need an overall person that is the accountability, so that you go around and you can make sure that everybody everybody is being held accountable. What are some of the what are some of the issues as far that you have run into so far as far as being the accountability uh, the accountability? I I I, I came up with a term for it. I came up with a word for it before, uh, accountability specialist. I, yeah, accountability specialist. What is some of the what's some of the things that you ran into as far as doing that? Um, first of all, as a leader and as a person who um wants to get goals accomplished, you wanna know how how you can be helped or how the tribe can support you. You um you would know what you you would know what your weaknesses are as well as your strengths. In some cases, you would not want to know what your weaknesses are so you can know how the tribe can support you. When you ask the tribe to support you in that way, you have to be ready to ex- accept it. Accept. So if you mm. if you try to hold you accountable, and then the tribe begins to hold you accountable, you can't start running off and shying off and hiding out to keep from facing the tribe. Because the one you're really damaging is yourself. This is why. Now, this is why with the with the next mindset, there's going to be we're we because one of the things that we we have been priming for a very long time as far as Giamme is the sayings and for example, those who are not willing to sacrifice will not be fulfilled. Now, those people that's going to be coming for this next mindset, you're going to have to put something up. You know what I'm saying? What you know what I'm saying? Because Part of the issue that I'm running into, and especially with the self mastery, is that people want to do shit for free. Yep. Um, Jeremy Anderson was the first person I heard that said, that said you know, when people pay, they pay attention. I like that shit. That's the old one. That's that. Yeah, I'm glad you said it with somebody's name because I swear if you did, I'll be saying that tomorrow like I, like I invented that shit. Yeah. See, because. Because it's the issue. Now, remember, I, we just got there talking about space and time and, and other people conquering your space and time and, and getting you to hold their values and hold their holidays up over yours. And then the challenge of a person uh, as of a culture builder, as a civiliza- as a civilization builder, as, as a culture builder, somebody or uh, 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 um, um, somebody who's trying to bring our culture to life. Right, mm-hmm. struggling to try to do that, and then being forced or or being hit constantly with all these things that that stabilize other people's culture, right? And not being able to when we try to do our own thing, it's kind of it, it, it's kind of hard, made kind of hard because people are not willing to make the sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? People want everything that we do to be free. People want everything, not realizing that. By us, not because in Giami, one of the major pieces is that when we talk about, because I hear people talk about economic independence, right? When mm-hmm. in Giami, we discuss the concept of reciprocity with that because when you look at our calendar, as far as Giami, when you look at our calendar, our calendar. I got I'm, I got the calendar up right there. It's, it's small for y'all, but when you look at our calendar on our day of Ujama, or some people say Ujama'a, which is cooperative economics, we got the we got the term reciprocity and gratitude in it. Those are two other principles that go hand in hand with that. And you cannot talk about Ujama without talking about reciprocity. And many people like will want to come to Miss Tracy and want her to do what Miss Tracy do or what Brother How Tim do without practicing reciprocity. There's no growth for either of us, for any of us. 
if there is no reciprocity in the circle. I give to you, you give to me. I, pro I provide value for you, you provide value for me. And that's the only way that we are going to grow. That's the only way that we are going to be able to create a tribe. But what we got is people used to receiving stuff for absolutely nothing. What um, Can I also comment on that real quick? I don't to care. To be honest with you, that's where we came from. It's a bartering system, right? So when we were um, culturally stable in our own neighborhoods, especially before the freeways came and ripped them apart, that's what we did. We 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 grew um we grew things in this garden and they grew things in that garden and you know when we wanted to wanted something we would come and do trades with your barter we would um we would give services in return for things that's the that's the way the black community rolled and it was so sustainable excuse me culturally stable we didn't need any outside sources to come and help us with anything. We were able to handle everything on our own in that way. So I am from Columbus, Ohio, Mount Vernon, um, the Mount Vernon area. And in that area, you're looking, you're looking at, especially if you're in the Martin Luther King um, complex, they have pictures of Mount Vernon back in the day. Mm -hmm. My family was actually a part of that. So my grandmother, excuse me, my mom's grandmother was Sarah Jane Carter. And she, the way she did things was if, uh, Carla, if, Carla, if, if Paula had three cars over in her driveway and Tyrone, um, Tyrone's car broke down, then she was the accountability person to make sure things were getting, getting uh, uh, transferred over back and forth so that we were able to um run ourselves as a unit also right so so it was we weren't we weren't missing anything if somebody else had it and she was the one from the stories that i've heard because it's all about storytelling and passing it down she was the one who kept the family flowing in the, in that positive direction and so that was the same thing that was going on on mount vernon you had stuff like tally's market carl brown um um, Edwards, those things are kind of there or not there anymore, but those are like, are like major places that were, all, were, were there when I was growing up and then I seen them also fall off, but they were part of that bartering system. They had doctors in the area. They had dentists in the area. We did not have to go outside of our community to anybody else to build up their community. And it reminds me of what is the what, what was the story that you told about where as long as the um, as the song, long as the cycle is going around in the community, then it it continue to grow and build. But if you let it outside community, it will pour out almost like a blood. As long as the blood is the blood is flowing, then it's gonna it's gonna work. Everything's gonna work. But right. as long as there's a puncture in the in the vein, the blood flows out. So then, right. so then you lose. You lose right. it. So that bottom right. is what I thought about that we have gotten away from. Because what happened was we got the commercials and we started to want to wanting the things outside of our community that that's right. Broke us down. Broke us down. Broke us down. Broke us down. And, <clears throat> and in a sense, we lost our minds. You understand what I'm saying? We we lost our minds, right? And 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 then we lost our children. Right, because with the with the whole integration thing, rather than integrating the adults, we integrated the children into uh, um, a outside community. I want I want you to understand how how this shit, how dastardly this shit is. Right. So first off, the communities were broke down in fifties, sixties. Y'all, some of y'all know them as interbelts. In Akron, they was called an interbelt. Then we had well, we had the expressways that came through in like the fifties, where they where where where, where they pers purposely um went through and and basically smashed up whole communities, came through and 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 took properties. And I want you to understand, literally took properties. I want y'all to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people don't really understand that they didn't come through and act nicely. They, they were, it went nicely that they came through and, and asked people. They came through and basically stole people's property. 
You know what I'm saying? And and a lot of us we don't we don't understand that. We don't want to deal with that. We 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 think we, we think it's a we think it's a game. Why other people are very serious about what 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 is going on. They're very serious about it, right? They came through and they took that. Then in the 60s and the 70s and even into the 80s, they started throwing these interbelts. So they not only went through the community, they start bringing other roads through the community, right? Separating and breaking down the whole community, right? To where now you got east side, west side, boom, boom, boom. And we start falling out. Then we started integrating the schools. So rather than having the adults do the integration, they decided that it was best to integrate the children. I don't know if anybody really understand what I'm saying, what I just said to you. We sent our children into a battlefield. Rather than sending adults, I want y'all to think about that. That was I mean, exactly. That was, that's, that's where exactly. I'm, um, we're getting bused all the way across town to be in the outside of the outside of our hood. What for a better for education? A better education? I'll, I'll, now, listen, y'all. We really need to think about that. So rather than taking all of the black, because because for some reason. Some of us believe that we didn't have shit. Family, the reason that we was able to integrate schools was because we had schools. Mm -hmm. You know they what it reminds me of? Go ahead. It's like, it's like, um, uh, it was this, it, it was something it was I read something. and they were, uh, it was kind of like, I guess talking like about relationships. Talk about and, um, and in the article, in the it said, article you know, don't be don't looking be at looking social media. Social media. And comparing that to your relationship, that like, that's what your relationship would look like. Your relationship is your relationship. And also, too, like, you know, with any relationship, comparing it to something else will, like, make you not happy in your relationship. Right. Versus right. taking your relationship for where, what it is and where it is. Allowing right. it to grow at its pace. And so and that's so where that's, that's the whole that's thing, thing that happened back then. Back then. Wanting something. Am I echoing to you? No. I don't hear an echo. Something that you know we felt like we couldn't have. Not and, and, and to, and to what my um my aunt said to me, I was a, about eight years ago. She said everything that looked good ain't good. Mm. Mm. Everything that looked good ain't good. And that's really the, 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 core the core of all of, all of the destruction that, that began. began. Wanting something outside of what we were offering in our community, not realizing how stable we actually were. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it even farther. I wanna I wanna focus this back on to the point that I was saying. Rather than sending adults into the battlefield, we sent babies. We allowed this government. See, because I want it to be understood. The reason we were able to integrate schools was because we had schools. The issue was that we wanted the same shit that that we that we was paying taxes for. That our parents were paying taxes for. We wanted the same thing in our schools that was in these white schools. So rather than give us that. So, all right, we're going to take your children. We're going to put your children in these hostile environments rather than taking these adults and putting the adults because we had plenty of teachers. Because I want y'all to think about what happened to all the black teachers during integration. Because there was black teachers a whole lot. But we never, we never pondered that. So rather than sending adults in, we sent children in. Now, these are the children and their children, and their children, all the way down to the grandchildren and great grandchildren of let me, I, I'm, the first generation and the second generation where it was traumatic for some of them. What we are experiencing now are their chil are their grandchildren and their great grandchildren of those children that we allowed to go into the battlefield. A lot of them 
didn't think that they were good enough and grew up not thinking they were good enough, wanted to be lighter and whiter. And they passed this sickness on to their children. And then it was enhanced. I want y'all to think about this. It was enhanced not only by the commercials, but by the individuals that were put in front of their classrooms that were supposed to be their leaders. So Mr. Johnny, who was in your hood school, your school from your neighborhood, was not good enough. And you got moved to a better installation or a better situation with Miss Sylvia, who didn't like your ass. Mm -hmm. No matter how good you did. Because Miss Sylvia realized that you was there to take her children's job. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's... I mean, that's I mean, and then, I mean, that is a great example of how the culture got lost. Oh, man. Excuse me. The, I, not, not the culture. The, culture. the black nobility. That's the term my uncle used when he was talking to me. He said, he said, these children have lost their nobility. Because yeah, nobility. we had that. that. Mm. We had that. And to be honest with you, if you thinking about my own generation the reason why black was important to being being proudly black was important is because that's what was invested in our home you know um, right and then but you have people like we said the generations who felt like you know they weren't good enough so then they start trying to erase themselves mm. They started trying to erase themselves. Wow. Erase themselves. And I say it that way because um, brothers who are extremely chocolate will get with a um, a woman that is not of color so that they can have lighter children. But you know what? And but what's crazy is it's not even for the lighter children. It's because they feel that the lighter skin is better. So it's not even for the children. I just want to be with something that look good like you, baby. You got that. You got that good fur on you. Well, I, I couldn't. I, can, I can't imagine that because it's really it's it's, it's kind of it's personal not, when I think about it like this. Because you know, my brother absolutely loved our mom. You know, and my my mom was beautiful, beautiful in, that, in that she wasn't, um, and she was a woman of color. So I can't imagine that, you know, you would say, say make the make, think, think along the lines that this is just better. Well, I see, because the, just because, how can I put it? You can love your mom. You can love her to death, but not want to be with her or be with somebody that look like her because the whole time you've been raised was that these light, that this lighter complexion was always better. I see it on TV. I see it everywhere. And I am a young man. I'm viral. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say I'm viral. That's the word. Oh viral. God, and I'm also into our own culture where you have your own people saying something about your skin color. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm able to pull one of those. My um, cousin, she was the one who who uh, brought things like that to my attention? Like, 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 she used to get, get comments, comments like, like, "You know, you are, you are beautiful." To uh, boy, does be so dark. Yes, and I was like, yes. "Are you serious?" Yeah, dog. That's that. That was part of it. To be so dark. How you look so good? You know. And right. what's amazing about her is she was. <laughs> The, the, I mean, she's just the hit of the party wherever she goes. She's funny. She's fun. You know, she's she's doing things. She's everywhere. She is respected, you know. And she didn't let that kind of thing tear her down, which was beautiful in itself. But she's the one who brought that to my attention. I'm like, wow. And, like, you know, and like I said, but if you don't notice it, it you know, because a lot of people don't notice that shit. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? They don't notice it, right? And it's it's like oh, and it's cool. It's cool. It's very cool. And, I have two um, brothers. One is um extremely light. Well, I got a lot of brothers. 
but but these two brothers from one extreme same mother one is extremely light and the other one is extremely dark and what's funny is both of them took pride in the other one's complexion the light the extremely lighter one was like you know if i could be i could be any complexion i would want to be terry's complexion which is the extremely right. darker one. right now that's what that's what matured me right because you know i was thinking that nobody wanted to be dark but then i would talk to light-skinned people and they'd be like man i really want I, so it's like the grass now this was one of the proverbs of the week this is why family you got to get on our email list i, I i'm sending out jews i try to send out jews every morning at, well, at least at least five of those days but one of the proverbs that i remember was the grass is always green on, on the other side, but the lawn still need to be kept. Right, you got to work on both sides. sides. Exactly. So, no, you know what I'm saying? You could always want what's on the other side, but realize that once you get over there and it's yours, it has to be taken care of. And a lot of us don't realize that. So I'm sitting over here looking at my lawn. Damn, it's hard work. And then on the other side, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, because they're catching hell. The lighter skin of, of, of my people are catching hell, too. And I'm not aware of them catching hell. And I'm thinking it's just I'm the one catching hell. They're like, no, nah, dog, I, you know, I, I'm catching hell over here, too. Because not only am I catching it from the other side, but a lot of y'all don't accept me. I'm like, damn. All right. You know, so, you know, but, you, you know, hey, I don't know how long we've been up on here, Miss Tracy. But I don't, let me run through these real quick, unless you got something else, because you brought up a good guy. Girl, you need to have you. When, when your show coming back? When you have got a show coming back? Without my Brother Hot Tim. Without Brother Hot Tim. My show is coming back. back. A lot of people be wanting shows and they want to do it with Brother Hot Tim. No. Uh, my name right. is Motivation with Miss Tracy. Miss Tracy. There you go. With, with who? Miss Tracy. Miss Tracy. Okay. Can spell that for the people so they can find it. M Z. T R A C I. Now, are, will it be will it be a visual stream or will it be an audible thing on the podcast going through G and J dot media? Or will you right now stream it in, in redesign? So, so more information coming soon. soon. All right. So, all right. So over the past week, last Amoja, we had. Um, I had a write-up called Five Reasons to Set Up Rituals in Your Life. That, that was a Moja's write-up. Um, I'm just going through the write-ups. Uh, March 15th was reaching for Impossible Dream. That was the, the write-up for Kuji Chagalia. Reaching for an Impossible Dream. Uh, for Ujima, we got you are not. I repeat, you are not. For Ujima, we got sowing and reaping, seven ways to unleash the power of reciprocity. And of course, now for the for the uh for the blog, I always I try to remember put the word sample on there because I'm not putting the seven in there. You got to be on the email list to get that. Uh and on Nia. We had tell your story on purpose. Um, yesterday, we had let there be seven ways to create the life you want. And today at 12 noon, um, we got about eight minutes before it shows. We got, hold on, I can tell you exactly what it is. Uh, we have... Digging in with the money. That'll be popping off at 12 noon. Um, and you can go and check that out. Miss Tracy, is it any either any, any any of those that you want me to go a little bit more in depth in in this last few minutes before we get up off of here? Not right now, no. All right, cool, cool, cool. So family, you could go on and you can catch the write-ups. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is uh on tribal talks, um, I will get on and I will go through the week's write-ups um, and possibly share a little. Because the reason I like, let me tell you why I like doing the show. 
what I really miss about doing the show. Because the write-up, the write-up is cool, but it allows me to go in depth with each of the write-ups because there's certain feelings and certain ideas that I have not perfected in being able to share in the write-up. Um, I'm more of a talking and presenting type person. So I could go through the write-up and reignite the feelings that caused me to write that paragraph and give you the background in it. Allow me, you know, say allow me to push push out and share the information with you, which in a sense, I believe, put um, shines a little bit more light on the idea, like digging in with the money. I, I really wanted to do that one because that is one that I've been talking about on my mindset as well as um, in my writings. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt I needed to do something on faith because I think it would have been irresponsible for me not to do it after my experience over this weekend. Um, but if there's nothing else, Miss Tracy was really, really beautiful to be chilling with your fine self on <laughs> this you. great on this great Imani. Um, do you have any closing words, any um anything for people to to check out or you know wait for and, or whatever? Well yes, well, I'm gonna yes, say, say that um, now it's echoing, but go ahead. The for mindset motivation with base racing, the quote, the quote is, is seek only seek that which you desire what you seek seeks you. Mm. So there will always be something to distract you from your focus. But as long as you focus on whatever you're focusing on, it's going to attract you. Mm. Mm. All right. So we got mindset motivation coming. We also have a mindset. So for those that will, will want to participate with um, Miss Tracy, on um, a weekly mindset where where you're gonna have a certain amount, she gonna the mindset is gonna have a certain amount of time for people to be in, and she's going to help you move through and fulfill what it is you say that you're going to do. That's what a mindset is for. You know what I'm saying? Help you develop the idea and help you push the idea out. And if you um, want that, you get it. Also, we got comment. We got the 21 week. Hashtag and Guza Saba Challenge. 21 weeks where within that 21 weeks, we are going to totally change your life. Um, through your experience with Giamme, we're going to help introduce you to who you really are, right? And, and using the Nguza Saba to help you get there. So, um, um, and also we will really, uh, appreciate for those of you that's out there. Um, that are interested in Giami, become a Giami sur- uh, supporter. Go to gnjmedia.support. That's gnjmedia.support. As a matter of fact, let me go, let me go and paint it up here for you so that y'all can see it. Uh, you know, this modern technology is just a whole lot. So I'm going to paint it up here just for you so that you can see. Where is it at? Cause I'm going to have to write something anyway. So I'm going to go and put it up. Just. Machine is moving so slow. Miss, Miss Tracy, what you doing to my machine? Why you, what, what you doing to my machine? You know, I, it's moving slow. It don't usually move this damn slow. All right. I ain't going to put it on normal text. I'm going to move. Now, for those of you that write, let's say you want to put a title. You go to where it say normal text right here. I'm always trying to make sure people learn. And you click title and it automatically Makes it bigger. And if you want it to be bigger, you could just go and make it a little bit bigger. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to take it up to 40. I'm going to put it in black. I'm going to say go to GNJ Media. Dot support. Y'all see that? GNJ Media dot support. And you could go and join uh, Giami Journey. What do you get? Hold on. I just sent out an email. Ms. Tracy, do you, did you know I just sent out an email about this? Yes. Oh, you got it? You didn't even read it, did you? She didn't even read it. She didn't read it, fam. I ended up wondering. It's cool. Church got canceled today. Church got canceled today. Church got canceled? 
Yeah. What type of when they start passing in church? Oh my um uh, prayers for my pastor. Prayers for my pastor. Okay, we send them up. We're gonna send them up. Wow. All right, hold on. Um uh, well damn, I guess I didn't. So let me go on over here to my my writing piece. I I, I thought where is that at? All right. Well, maybe it came out. Hold on. Let me go to my email. Don't want to give up all the secrets, Miss Tracy. Don't want to give up all the secrets. See if it's in my email. All right. Updates. Google. McAfee. Murray. Uh, Mr. Brown, Derek Carr. No, no, no. It ain't going to be in that email. It's going to be in another it's email. It's going on now. Okay. Oh, you trying to get off? Get off. All right. Yeah, All right. Money. Money. Oh, it's already going. It's, it's already, I already recorded it. And those of you that's going to that listen to it, please excuse the sound because I thought this mic was good. I, I'm using a JLab Max, so I'm going to have to go and do, uh, I am thinking about doing a, Review on the J Lab mic because it is garbage. I hate to say that, but this is the second show that I done did, and that I mean, it is garbage. So maybe it ain't come. Real well, vision, I'm gonna, my brother. I have to go and forgive somebody, so I'll talk to you later. You got to go and forgive somebody. Yeah. The hell is going on here? <laughs> Uh, do I need to be jealous? I guess I do. Yeah. <laughs> you brought that shit up, and then all of a sudden you got to what? So that's what did I, I, was was when we started. I know. Right. You, I, I, you know. Now I gotta forgive you. Is this what's going? <laughs> the, the fuck? Uh, well, get off my line. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Um, Peace. No thanks. All right, so family, and I'm out after this, but I just wanted to share this. So this morning, I sent out five reasons you should become a tribal supporter, and I'm going to share the email. What is it at? Boom. Five reasons you should become a tribal supporter. There we go. What, Brother Anton, what do you mean? Why should I become... Why should I waste my time? Now, for those that can't read, say you already been... You've been peeking in here. You might as well go on and become a supporter. We hope... Oh, wrong side. Come on. Come on now. Come on. There we go in the world we hope that you would consider becoming a tribal supporter of GNJ Media or GNJ Media we are a tribe that creates engaging multi-platform video and audio and written content that entertains as well as educates we have been pushing the boundaries of what can be done with non-traditional media for over a decade when you support our efforts you help fund the creation of all of our shows events and other content here are five reasons that you should become a supporter. One, you'll help support independent and conscious media. We have been at this for over 10 years and we try to make sure that we keep you informed about what is going on out in the world as well as give you methods of reaching within yourself to become the best you. Number two, you will make GNJ Media better and more fun for everybody. This is the year to move into building shows and better content as you know as you see uh be part hold on be part of our tribe you will get our daily lessons based on the principle of the day also you can toast with the fam daily y'all know we do the toast i'm about to do the toast put it out for next week as well as as well as um um you get uh, I ain't going to say every day, but you're going to get it damn near. It's going to be damn near every day because I'm writing at least five days a week unless I'm on vacation or something like that. 
have exclusive access to all such support perks and rewards. When you become a supporter, you get access to all digital content created by GNJ Media, which includes Ngusa Saba Challenge video, the Ashe Breath Meditation, Meditation by the Numbers, and all the GNJ books and ebooks that we have created so far. And also, you get a discount on stuff that we partner with. Like, for example, we got, I think we got two or three books uh, with Dr. Kelsey. You get a deep discount on that. Or, or it's part of the thing. And each person is, we ain't really had nobody come in new, but everybody that's new, Dr. Kelsey get a portion of, um, of, of the membership that you send in till it pays for the book. Um, and, uh, Tara Hassa has a book in there. Um, we have a few other, I think we got, um, um, with Elder Dale Green, you get a deep, deep discount on his piece. When you um, when you are a member of GNJ Media, for anybody we work with, we try to make it possible for you to get access to their stuff, not for the price that they have, but for a deep discount. Um, you get early info and discounts from GNJ uh, Media events, all right, camping festivals, and etc. All get discounts on all ebooks and e-courses that GNJ Media partners on. So, you know what I'm saying? What, what you waiting for? We only ask for about ten dollars. We only ask for ten dollars a month. It's about ten dollars a month, um, so that we can, you know, continue doing what we do. Because, like I said, I would, it, I would love to be able to do the toast every day. You know what I'm saying? I would love to be able to do shows on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? And this be what I do, especially when we once we start traveling. Because, like right now, we have a property been built in Ghana. Um, we are. Uh, um, uh, and, and, and trying to do some stuff here. I got, uh, I got several other shows that I'm working on as well as other people coming up with some real creative stuff. That's going to help you master yourself. And also I'm trying to, I'm, I, I really am. I do want to do the soap opera. I know some of y'all been hearing me talk about it for years, but we're going to move to that. But Hey family, this is brother. I Tim. I am out. I need to do the toast and go get my, get my, get my wig cut. I, I'm out, and I want to thank all those that took the time to join us. And let me know what you think about the talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave it up for a little while up on, um, see if I can download it, too. Uh, I might restream it. Who knows? Um, see how it goes to build up. But, hey, this is Brother Hot Tim. I am out.